The day is here, December 24th. Most of us are getting ready to open up some presents either tonight at midnight or tomorrow in the morning, late minute shopping. So today I'm gonna give you guys my wish list, five jerseys that I have always wanted and I've never been able to get my hands on them. By the way, my birthday is March 12th. If you guys wanna write any of these down and get them for March 12th, very appreciated. Let's go ahead, kick it off. Number one, the 2006 Argentina away jersey. Both of these jerseys are amazing in their own right, but the away one takes the cake. I love the different dark blue designs at the top and all the way around on the sides. And I love the design for the numbers, how they had the lines in between. And of course, that was the first summer that I saw Juan Roman Riquelme really take over with Argentina. He was the number 10. He was wearing those gold predators too. Dude, that was the first World Cup for me that I followed from qualifiers and on. And I fell in love with that team. Regardless of how the tournament finished off, that jersey was amazing. I love it to this day. I haven't been able to find it. I don't just want the plain jersey. Now, this is where I get picky, and this is why I haven't been able to find it. I want a Riquelme one, either a Riquelme one or a Messi one. Messi 19 or Riquelme 10. Number two is the 2010-2011 Barcelona away jersey. Kind of a turquoise color all the way around. And right here at the top, you had one horizontal line split between red and blue. It was the sickest jersey that I had seen at that age. I love, especially in the back, it was like a darker, almost purple, bluish. I don't really know my colors. Dark is purple, and it had like stripes in design going all the way down the back. It looked really cool from afar, especially the long sleeves. That season was so much fun to watch in 2001. They won the double. They went all the way to the Copa del Rey final, but we won't discuss what happened in that specific final. I specifically remember my boy Francisco. Shout out Francisco, but he's a Madridista. He played for a team that used this as their jersey and he didn't want to wear it because it had the Barca logo and he's a Madridista. So he wanted to offer it to me, but we were different sizes. It didn't work out at all. And plus I had his last name in the bag and I didn't want his last name in the bag. So I covered up his last name with tape and I tried to write Pedro because he was number 17 at the time. So the jersey, instead of saying his last name, would say Pedro over the 17. It was ambitious to say the least, but it did not work out. This next one is actually a jersey that I once owned, but that I lost. I'm talking about the 2008-2009 Manchester United home jersey. Very classic, not much design there at all. It's a very traditional red, Manchester United red. And in the middle, it had their sponsor AIG. The reason why I love this jersey so much is because of the back. You had a white line going down the back of the jersey. And in that line, you would see a little Manchester United logo, a little Manchester United devil. On the bottom, you would have the same thing. So in the end, both lines would kind of meet in the middle. And in the middle, they would have the player's name and number. Whenever you would see that iconic, you know, especially like the free kicks, you see Cristiano spread out open like that, right? Like with his legs wide open. And then in the back of the jersey, you just saw like Ronaldo Siete. Like it was pretty cool. And I mentioned it before. I had it when I was about like 12, 13 years old. My uncle bought it for me. He doesn't even remember, but I remember that I had it. And eventually I just outgrew the shirt as most kids do. And I don't know what I did with it necessarily. I even have a picture in eighth grade with my boy Mario. Shout out Mario where we're both wearing that same Manchester United jersey. It was like eighth grade or something like that. I don't know what I did with it, but I would love to be able to get my hands on it. So again, March 12th is the day. So, you know, if you wanna start taking March 12th, Carlitos, Rooney, or Cristiano on this one. The next one, unfortunately, is another jersey that I once had and then I got rid of it. I'm talking about a super rare 2006-2007 AC Milan alternate jersey. A black jersey with red designs all the way around mixed in with a tad, a little bit of gold in the design all the way around. An amazing jersey. I would have El Fenomeno, the original Ronaldo, the only Ronaldo, El Fenomeno would get his number in the back. He had just transferred that season from Real Madrid to AC Milan. Although he was a little bit on the chubbier side at that point in his career, he was still bagging goals left and right. So Ronaldo, 99, I need that in the back of that jersey. And the last one is for arguably the greatest national team ever assembled. I'm talking about the 2010 World Cup Spain away jersey. Now, why do I want the away one? Well, number one, I already have the home one. 
Shout out to my uncle. The away one is the one that they ultimately wore when they played in the final. So all the pictures you see of, of Iniesta celebrating that goal is with the dark blue Spain jersey. It's mixed in again with a little bit of red design all the way around. I just get memories of David Villa scoring with it against Chile. And then of course, I'm gonna need my boy Iniesta on there. Five jerseys that I'm hoping to find at the bottom of the Christmas tree tonight. If I don't find them tonight, you guys can still make up for it. Again, I mean, I hate to be repetitive, but March 12th, follow your boy on all the social media platforms, subscribe to the channel, hit the little notification button. Merry Christmas, Feliz Navidad, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.